I think the under over for you staying quiet is about 60 seconds. Um, I don't know if I can keep the remarks that short. Um, I have become a little bit of a politician. But uh, a little over two years ago, I came here for the first time. And um, you know, when uh, a gentle person uh, comes into a community, a different country, brings his family, you don't know what to expect. Uh, I did not expect the warmth, the kindness, the acceptance that the people of Thessaloniki and the people of Greece uh, gave me. And for that, I will always be grateful. I always loved the place where my parents grew up. It was not an easy life for my parents. My father was an orphan. My mom and dad grew up poor, hungry. They knew war. I fully understood the first time I came to Greece in 1975 when there was no running water and there was an outhouse. And I understood that they grew up in circumstances that were very, very different. I know that World War II was difficult for Greece. It lost 10% of their population. Uh, it was the Marshall Plan who stepped in and provided six and a half million tons of food and $2.2 .2 billion back then as the entire country was decimated to rebuild a nation to assist a country that had been so much. They had given much because they gave it in the name of freedom and democracy. Greece was the first country to achieve an allied victory over an access power. They gave the world hope. When the world thought that fascism was gonna run through all of Europe, it was the Greeks that stood up and said, Ohi. As many celebrate Victory in Europe Day in May, it's the Greeks that celebrate their entry into Europe on October 28th. That is the character of Greeks. And I appreciate it as the ambassador because over 26 months, I have seen this relationship grow to unmanageable heights. I have seen the Greeks act with principles and values, never in a transactional fashion that when it comes to doing the right thing, they are there, even when it is most difficult. Because the Greeks understand that we are the bulwark of democracy. They are the founders of democracy. Millenniums ago, for the first time in history, people came together with a sense of self-determination on how and by whom we should be governed. And 248 years ago, when my country, the United States, stood up a government, it was based on the ethos and the values and the principles that were born right here in Greece. Now, from democracy springs all other freedoms and values. And we're fortunate to live in a democracy. When people tell me that it's an outmoded form of government, I think it's laughable. Folks, people are not trying to move to Venezuela. People are not trying to move to Russia. People are not trying to move to North Korea. And I assure you, Iran does not have an immigration problem. People are trying to move to democracies, not just because democracies give you more freedoms and values, but because they generally give you richer, more opportunistic, and safer lives. <clears throat> this is what we should strive for. This is what so many people came to the United States. They heard Emma Lazarus' calling. Give me those who are yearning to breathe free, your huddle masses. The United States is a country built by immigrants, a lot of which with their roots here. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of my favorite immigrants to the United States is a proud child of Thessaloniki, one of my absolute favorite people in the world. And Miriam Borla was kind enough to bring her husband Albert today. <laughs> <laughs>